Hello friends, and welcome to UVM TV's very new info show, How to Nerd. My name is David, and today I'm going to be guiding you through the dense and sometimes complicated history of the ultimate Marvel Comics baddie, Thanos the Mad Titan. Thanos is a giant purple cosmic being, possessing ultimate strength and skill. He lives within the Marvel Comics universe. He was first introduced to the world in Iron Man number 55, which debuted in February 1973. He was created by writer and artist Jim Starlin. Starlin can be best known for engaging in the cosmic adventures of the Marvel Universe, from writing characters like Thanos to the Silver Surfer. He's also credited with creating fan-favorite Guardian of the Galaxy, Drax the Destroyer. For those of you unaware, Drax was portrayed by actor Dave Bautista, who starred in the film Guardians of the Galaxy in 2014. Starlin also famously penned the DC Comics tale, Batman, A Death in the Family. So why is Thanos so important to the Marvel Universe? Not only has Thanos fought Iron Man, but he's also fought a number of Avengers, including Silver Surfer, Captain Marvel, Thor, Captain America, Black Panther, Scarlet Witch, and even the Vision. Suffice it to say, the Titan did not go down easy. Now, Thanos on his own is incredibly powerful. For fans of the multiple Marvel Cinematic Universe films that have been released over the past seven years, they have been teased with the power and authority of Thanos. He has been seen to command entire forces from his chair, manipulate intergalactic terrorists such as Ronan the Accuser, and even swindle Loki, the Asgardian god, into doing his bidding. But there's a very specific feature of Thanos that fans have always attributed the character to and that would be the Infinity Gauntlet. The Infinity Gauntlet is a device that the Mad Titan can wear like a glove. Alone, it's not good for much more than boxing. The device is unique in the fact that it has the ability to channel the energy coming from six powerful galactic stones, known as the Infinity Stones. The Infinity Stones are gems that grant the user power over a certain aspect of the universe and beyond. They are time, space, mind, soul, reality, and power. Usually coming in colors of purple, red, blue, yellow, green, and orange, these stones are plenty powerful on their own. There have even been cases where misuse of the stone have been known to destroy entire civilizations, even entire worlds. Thanos desperately seeks these stones to be able to increase his own power, but not for the reason you may think. In the story arc titled Infinity Gauntlet, Thanos wreaks havoc on the universe in order to impress the love of his life, Lady Death. Yes, Death. Thanos is literally in love with Death. To win her over, Death tells Thanos to wipe out half of sentient life in the universe. This includes most of the X-Men, Daredevil, and the Fantastic Four. And he did it all with the snap of a finger. The remaining heroes of Earth and Beyond try to band together and combat Thanos and his new power. Easily defeating them all, Thanos moves on to combat more and more celestial beings within the universe. Eventually, his soul leaves his body, and he becomes one with the ethereal universe. This out-of-body experience allows Thanos' alleged granddaughter, Nebula, to steal his gauntlet and restore order to the universe. Fans of the Marvel film Guardians of the Galaxy will recognize Nebula as the bald, blue-skinned alien who served as Thanos' adopted daughter. Now, with all that information, what can fans garner for the future of the character? He will indeed be the antagonist for the third Avengers film, that much we know. And fans know that almost every single surviving Marvel hero in the Marvel Cinematic Universe will be joining in the fight against him. In the upcoming Avengers Infinity War film, we know that the Guardians of the Galaxy, including Star-Lord, Rocket, Gamora, Groot, and Drax will all be making an appearance. As for the Earthbound heroes, we know that the Vision, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Captain America, Hawkeye, Thor, the Hulk, Doctor Strange, his mentor Wong, the Winter Soldier, and Scarlet Witch will all be joined in the fight as well. Noticeably absent from the roster includes Black Panther, Falcon, Black Widow, Ant-Man, and Nick Fury. As of right now, they could be filming scenes, we just don't know as much. We also know that as of now, Thanos has no Infinity Stones in his possession. He simply owns the Gauntlet. Five stones and their locations in the Marvel Cinematic Universe have been revealed. The Space Stone, aka the Tesseract, rests within a vault on Asgard. The Time Stone rests within the Eye of Agamotto, which is protected by Doctor Strange. The Power Stone, aka the Orb, is currently protected by the Nova Corps on the planet Xandar, on the far side of the galaxy. Mind Stone rests within the Vision's forehead. And the Reality Stone, aka the Ether, currently is under the protection of the Collector, who appeared in Guardians of the Galaxy. Though after his base was destroyed, we don't really know what happened to it. The sixth stone, supposedly to be the Soul Stone, has yet to be revealed, but fans speculate that it will make its debut in the new Thor film, Thor Ragnarok, which comes out in November. 
Thanos is a villain and a presence that has been building up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe for the past five years worth of films. The studio understands what kind of force and threat this character has to be. And they understand what kind of power this villain has to hold in order to be able to bring the Avengers back together one more time. Are you looking forward to see this baddie in action? What's your favorite Infinity Stone? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I want to thank you for joining us for How to Nerd. Hope you got a little bit nerdier. See you next time.